Microsoft Copilot was just updated with a music creation feature from a company called Suno. And the results are pretty amazing. But who is Sono? How do you get access to this on Copilot? And how do you create your own? Let's jump right in and I'm going to show you everything you need to know. If you've been on X in the last 24 hours, you've probably seen dozens of posts like this. Microsoft Copilot gets a music creation feature via Suno integration. But who is Suno and how does this actually work? Well, let's dig into this a little bit deeper. Straight from the company's website, Suno says it's building a future where anyone can make great music. Whether you're a shower singer or a charting artist, we break barriers between you and the song you dream of making. No instrument needed, just imagination from your mind to music. As far as the team goes, it doesn't give a whole lot of details, but it says we're a team of musicians and artificial intelligence experts based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. We're proud alumni of pioneering tech companies like Meta, TikTok, and Kensho. Asuno also has some open source projects, one of which is called Bark. And if you look at the description of Bark, Bark is a transformer-based text-to-audio model created by Suno. Bark can generate highly realistic multilingual speech as well as other audio, including music, background noise, and simple sound effects. The model can also produce nonverbal communications like laughing, singing, and crying. To support the research community, we're providing access to pre-trained model checkpoints. This was their original model that they released on GitHub. Now, this is not what's powering Suno that's being used in Copilot. And you can see here, Bark is Suno's open source text-to-speech model. If you're looking for our new text-to-music model, Chirp, have a look at our Chirp examples page. The interesting thing here is when you click on this page, it takes you to a 404, not found. So this no longer exists. But Chirp is presumably the model that's powering this new AI system that they've got in conjunction with Microsoft Copilot. And that takes us to Copilot. If you head over to copilot.microsoft.com, what Copilot is, is it's essentially chat GPT, but built on Microsoft's foundational framework. The cool thing is, and if you're not familiar with this, behind the scenes, Copilot actually uses GPT-4. This is the same model that's used in the paid premium version of chat GPT that you have to pay $20 a month to access. Now there are some differences in the underlying model. This has been fine tuned with Microsoft's training data. So it's a little bit different than ChatGPT, but still it has some features that you can't even get through ChatGPT currently. One of which happens to be this music integration. So the way you activate this is you go to copilot.microsoft.com and you'll see up here in the upper right hand corner is plugins. Now when you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see a couple that are interesting. You can turn on search and then this one above it is Suno. If this is turned on, you're going to be able to ask it to make songs for you. I'll give you an example here. Now once that's enabled, we're going to say make me a rap song about artificial intelligence. And you can see over here, it uses Suno as the plugin and it generates this preview of the song. It's about 34 seconds long. You can't get a full song out of this. In order to do that, you're gonna to have to go over to the Suno website, use their Discord channel, and actually subscribe to one of their premium accounts. But this still gives you a really cool preview of what they're capable of. You can see it even writes out the lyrics to the song underneath. Step into the future where the machines collide, artificial intelligence taking us for a ride. Step into the future where the machines collide, artificial intelligence taking us for a ride. We're living in a world where the lines are blurred, cold warriors on the front line ready to be. So it has a nice flow and a sound to it, and you can get different iterations and variations of this same thing. Now, the cool thing is, while it's creating the music, it gives you a couple other things to check out. It says, sure, I can create a rap song about artificial intelligence for you. It might take a few minutes, so be patient. I'll let you know when it's ready. In the meantime, you can learn more about artificial intelligence and its applications from these sources. It gives you a couple links to check out. Now, I did find from testing this out, there is a limit. So if you look at this, I just asked it to make me a pop song about artificial intelligence. And I said, I'm sorry, I can't right now. It seems you've reached the limit of invocations for this user. Please try again tomorrow. So there is a daily limit to the number of times you can ask it to create a song. And that's really to be expected. This must cost a fortune to run all the servers, especially with all the Copilot users using this. What you can also do is jump over to suno.ai and you can have it make you a song there as well. You can click on make a song in the upper right hand corner and you can see there's this area with trending songs that other people have created. You can explore those or you can create your own. 
Clicking on create, similar to the Copilot interface, you can drop in a text prompt that's gonna be used to create the song. We're gonna drop right in and say, create a pop song about artificial intelligence, hit the create button, and then you're gonna see it's actually creating two different variations of the song. And I think this is how they get a little bit of their training data. The one that you thumbs up or thumbs down is gonna give them that signal that they need in order to improve this model over time. And the cool thing too is once you click on one of these songs, it opens this kind of dialogue on the right hand column that shows you the verses, the actual lyrics that it wrote for the song. And you can click thumbs up, thumbs down. You can remix it into another song or you can start to share it or even download it. And for the download options, it says you can download a video or just the audio. Now, if you click on download video, it's really just a version of the song with the lyrics shown up on the screen, which is kind of cool. Now this isn't all you can do. You can also click on this toggle for custom mode. Once you enable custom mode, you've got a couple of extra options here. You can either drop in your own lyrics. So if you're a singer, songwriter, musician, you could drop in something that you actually wrote, or you can have it make random lyrics. You can pick the style of music, so this would be akin to the genre. Then you can even create a title. You can have it create the song down here at the bottom, and then you can share that with friends and family or whoever else you'd like to by either downloading it or grabbing a link that you can share on social media. You do only get 50 credits to start with, and each song generation takes 10 credits. If you're wanting to create a whole bunch of music after that, you can subscribe to one of their plans. It looks like they started about $8 a month for 2,500 credits, which is enough to make about 500 songs. And this is really just a start with all this crazy generative AI. I think it's just a matter of time before we see generative AI music actually reach the top of the billboard charts and we'll have generative AI radio stations that are just simply creating music nonstop 24 hours a day that we like. And if you think far enough into the future and with generative AI, this might just be months. I think we're going to get here to the same place with things like television and even movies. You'll be able to do text to movie or text to TV series and a generative model goes to work creating exactly the type of content that you want. One thing's for sure though, it's going to be a wild few years. And if you want to stay on top of all of it, be sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is all your tech AI. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and share some of your music creations with me. I'd love to check them out. Thanks.